Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to let you know that if you use the Outlook email client, that uh, we could be seeing a change and a consolidation of all the different versions of Outlook this year into one app called One Outlook, which Microsoft has been working on now for quite some time. Now, this One Outlook was actually supposed to be uh, released last year, and um, that did not happen. And apparently the new One Outlook app is going to be made available for testing uh, sometime this year, possibly in spring. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, that would be spring. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, that would be winter. Now, apparently the One Outlook app um, is going to be very similar to the online version, Outlook Online, um, which you, we currently get, you know, in Microsoft Edge or when you log in online. And apparently uh, this uh, One Outlook has already been uh, tested uh, by Microsoft internally and we are expecting an official announcement regarding uh, the future of One Outlook, which as I mentioned will look very similar to the online version uh, sometime in spring if you're in the Northern Hemisphere or winter if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, obviously, this is going to be made available first to Windows Insiders. That would be the dev and beta channels. And we are expecting, um, due to media reports, which suggest that um, that would be possibly in March or April of this year, 2022. And um, as many of you know, we are expecting um, the feature update for both Windows 10 and 11 to roll out, most probably in October of this year, 2022. And that's when we are expecting to see One Outlook make its way um, to the stable uh, versions of Windows 10 and 11 and also be made available for everyone and not just insiders. And apparently on its um, final um, release, it's going to be called, simply be called Outlook. And apparently it will replace all um, the Outlook apps that you currently have on your system. And also, um, it won't replace, though, at this stage, due to reports, um, it won't replace the mail-in calendar apps that you, if you are using those two apps. And it'll, for this, for um, the time being, once it's released, it'll work alongside mail-in calendar, but it will replace um, any other Outlook versions you or, or apps you have on your system. So I just wanted to let you know one Outlook, which will be simply called Outlook, um, we could be seen making its uh, release out to everybody, um, possibly um, in October or November later this year. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.